Hello and welcome back to the Hibs Career Mod. Um, I've figured out what I want to do in this episode and I'm going to simulate against Manchester United because I really cannot be bothered playing them. I'm going to simulate against Arsenal and I'm going to play Newcastle and Tottenham. The Tottenham are the final game of the season. Um, Newcastle... I think they're only a couple of points behind me actually. Yeah, I don't expect a result against Man United or Arsenal, not in simulation anyway. Uh, I just really don't want to play Manchester United um, and I've already played Arsenal. Whereas I don't think I've played Newcastle yet. Um, so, yeah, let's see, let's go into these simulations. And, um, you, will just, you will just use this team. I, I, um, <laughs> I don't expect a result either way, so... Destroy me. Go. Two one win. To Man United. Well, it's a two one loss, obviously for us. They, it was a Mkhitaryan penalty that got them through, which is a wee bit annoying. But um, <sighs> we are now in eighth place. Um, we're only going to fall down further and further, I think. Uh, so we've got to simulate against Arsenal as well. I might just play a pretty weak team against them. <laughs> um, what's the league look like? So Manchester United are now top of the league with by four points. Uh, everybody's played 34 games up there. Spurs are in second now. Arsenal are in third. Liverpool in fourth. Man City in fifth. We fell out of the, Euro the Europa League spots as well, so hopefully we can jump back into them for the end of the season, but I don't see it. Um, so, Arsenal. Also probably going to beat us. But, um, simulate this, we'll play whatever team we can. Probably the strongest team we can get. And uh, we'll just see what happens. So I'm not playing the strongest team I can, but I'm playing a team that's a bit more in form. Uh, I put Graham in because he's in as good form as you can get. And so is Teldo. But I don't think it's really going to make a difference against a team of Arsenal who have Van Dijk. Um, they've got Danny Rose, um, Lacazette, Sanchez, Felipe Luiz and stuff. Oh god. This is... <laughs> Goalkeeper's injured in a 3 0 loss against Arsenal. I expected that, but. Oh, God. <clears throat> this is the team we're going to go with. Not in very good form at all, but hopefully we can we can get three points in the board because we've not got any uh, wins since Liverpool, which was like a month ago. So. Um, hopefully we can pick the form back up again. See Basigog run, that is a great ball from Joe Rayleigh. Joe Rayleigh. Basigog, that is a fantastic goal. The initial ball from Joe Rayleigh was exceptional. I didn't expect him to put it through like that. And then the finish from Basigog from that angle as well. Beating whoever that was in goal, I'm not sure who it is in goal. But what a, what a finish that is from there. 1 0 Hibs, let's do this.
No, can't do. The drop of the shoulders not really been very good recently for some reason. Maybe it's just me playing quite bad. Just poor decision making or something. Sometimes you need to take risks though. Back up to Basagog. Probably should have played a through ball there. However, <coughs> we still have the ball, so hoping it's not really a big deal. It's a good ball. Can he get there? Oh, he just left it. I tried to make him do like a sort of fancy kick but it didn't even bother touching it for some reason. Oh come on. It's not that bad it's not that bad a tackle. up to Douglas Graham. Can he? He's got Jenny Otas on the run here. Cuts inside. Gives it through to Roche and it goes to Darlow but the ball's still alive. Didn't mean to do that. Again just the try to turn back but not like no the way does it there. Got an opportunity here. Graham, he's turned his man, that's a penalty surely. Oh come on to fuck. Can Ben McCall do the right thing here? He does. <laughs> what? What the fuck? It's the 90th minute so we should be getting the win here. That was an awful pass but we get the win. Um. Well won, no win, not the most convincing win. It was a good strike from Basagog to get us that win though. So, <clears throat> hopefully, that's a bit of form to take us into the Tottenham game and maybe we can finish in the top, uh, the top seven again. So we would need to beat Tottenham at least 3-0 in order to get out of here. And we would need to count on Everton losing, so I think I'm just going to simulate it because it's not going to make a difference. Um, obviously there's that slight, slight chance of it finishing seventh, but it's very, very slim. So I'm just going <coughs> to just going to simulate this game, one each, just get the point. Um, John again getting the goal. So an eighth place finish was that. Not too bad. Um, they did actually lose their game, but <coughs> I didn't think we were gonna. Um, I didn't think we were gonna finish. Didn't think we were gonna finish um, that game with at least uh, three no three goals over them. So I'm gonna go through all the stats, same as I did last last season. Only only the people who had actually <coughs> got something significant. So, most appearances, John McGinn, 6 goals and 5 assists, not too bad for him. Then Basigog with 39, and Rob McCall with 39, El Shanali got injured towards the end of the season. Uh, Joe Riley with a lot of appearances, Joe Ledley with a lot of appearances. Um, Satildo with quite a lot of appearances. I was surprised that Roche didn't have many, but I think he got injured like two or three times a season. Um, Gianni Otas, he was also injured. Jameson, did we get him at the start of the season? I don't remember. Did we get him? I think we did. Um, Graham with 26 goals. Go to goals now. I think he got the most goals yet. Um, nobody really 
scored that many goals this season, to be honest. But we didn't we didn't win the league this season, so um can't complain too much. Graham is a very good player. Uh got eleven goals, two assists. He's he, he's looking quite bright. Uh then Roche, eight goals and four assists. If he never got injured then he's got he could have definitely kept the form going and scoring a lot more go excuse me, scoring a lot more goals. Basigog with eight goals and six assists. Not as many goals and assists as he did last season, but he did play in the wing and he did he did a good job considering it's a Premier League. Uh, John McGinn, six goals and five assists. Ioha, who came towards the end of the season in January, got five goals and one assist. He got a hat-trick as well, which is something to keep a note of. Gianni Otas didn't really do anything this season, to be honest. I feel bad for him because he's like, he's like the highest rated, but he's sort of fallen down this season. Joe Ledley with three goals and seven assists. Uh, Jameson with three goals. He's got some pretty important goals as well, and I'm really liking the look of him. Uh, I might call him our Wizard of Oz. Uh, Caicedo, two goals, two assists, and Stelda with two goals, two assists. Um, most assists goes to Joe Ledley. A good way to end the season, if you ask me. Uh, he'd, you know, he's retiring, so he's, yeah, well, we won't see any more of him. So you can say your goodbyes and your farewells to him to have a happy retirement. Basigog with six assists, John McGinn with five, Roche with four, Chao Enrique got three, he didn't really do much for us this season, sadly. Um, I think he's, he'll be going back to Atletico Madrid though and we'll just replace him with an actual decent cam. Hopefully we get the, the money to do though, uh, to do that, so. Um, <clears throat> then everything after, everything after that is two goal, two assists, sorry, and one assist, quite a few people with one assist. <clears throat> um, Berglund, he didn't get to play that much this season, but he has grown by six. Um, I've still got quite a few training sessions to go, so some some people... Actually, Martina, that assist is a very huge assist because that got us a win against Liverpool. Was it Liverpool? I think it might have been. And it was an incredible goal from Jameson, to be fair to him. Um... The biggest changes so far this season, Bliska with eight. He's he's bound to sort of break into the team at some point next season, hopefully. Uh, Rob McKinley, he, I don't even remember tra- training this guy, and he's got he went up by six. Ben McCall's went up by six. I did beat. I was training him at the start. Berglund up by six. I was training at the start. Douglas Graham, I don't recall training too much this season. He's got eight pace now, which is quite which is quite good. Um, ben Campbell is not a, not really. I'm not looking to use him because, I, I don't know, I'm just not. Uh, Matsumoto has grown by five as well. I've been training his dribbling more than anything. So um, I'll probably train his passing a bit more next season. Actually, he's going on loan next season, so I probably won't be. Uh, hopefully he does a good job when he leaves. Arnold Roche went up by four, which is quite good. Um, he has a future. Him and Berglund are like the bright prospects of our team because Graham's only got like 80 potential I think where both of them have 90 um, Patrick McNeil with 4 Jameson with 4 Kimura with 3 I'm thinking about training him because when he does come on he does he does something you know um, Chao Enrique doesn't really matter to us anyway Mayano with 3 3, three 2 Patrick Ross or somebody else who I'm thinking about training. So, stats are pretty good. Who's worth the most, I wonder? I think it'll probably be Roche. Yeah, he's worth 14 million. Um, Next season, we're going to have to work on all the contracts and stuff as well. Um, Chao Enrique's worth the, the most next to him. Uh, so, Tilda's worth quite a lot. I never realised how young he was. Um, Rob McCall worth... Uh, seven million. Daniel Tass worth seven as well. Berglund worth six. Elsh now with five, and then after that it drops off to like everything that's less than like four. Graham's only worth two point eight. But you know you can get a lot more money out of um 
out of teams for these players. Uh, what else is there to look at? I think uh, the tables. So the FA Cup, who won that? I don't think it will actually have the finals played yet. The FA Cup is between Manchester United and Arsenal. Uh, if we can... Carabao Cup's between West Ham and Huddersfield. West Ham won that. Um, is that twice we've been knocked out by the team that's won it? Uh, doesn't matter. Copa Europe won by Manchester United 3-1. Uh, Champions League, Manchester United versus Juventus. That's interesting. Uh, Barca got knocked out by PSG. Then they got knocked out by Juventus. And Juventus must have beat uh, Atletico Madrid on away goals or something. Then Manchester United beat it. Chel beat beat it. Aye, that's a word. Beating Chelsea. Um, Real Madrid they beat to get here, which is interesting. And they beat Ajax, so not too shabby for them. Um, the Europa League between Tottenham and uh, Dortmund. Hmm. They've both done quite well to get here. Tottenham beating Everton in the semi-finals 4-1, but uh, Dortmund beating Roma 5-1 in the semis to get there. Yeah, the Euros, because Scotland have made it to the Euros. I uh, don't really care about anything else. So uh, we finished 8th, which I'm not too I'm not too fussed about. Uh, we were in 3rd at one point. Chelsea managed to catch up with everybody else. Uh, in the end, Manchester United ran away with the league, actually, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Chelsea, Arsenal. I, I, I kind of feel bad for Arsenal because they were ahead for so long and then we kind of fucked that for them. Um, <clears throat> Derby, Huddersfield and Aston Villa are all getting relegated. So Leicester managed to save themselves, uh, which is quite good for them. I wonder who will come up next season. Uh, however, you'll have to wait and see next episode because I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, between episodes, all I'm going to do is you know, call up your players maybe and um, do the training. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. I hope you've enjoyed this season so far uh, and I hope you look forward to the next season as well. I shall see you in the next episode for season four in the Premier League.